Oksana Rovenchok immigrated from Ukraine to Greece 25 years ago. She lives in Athens and works in a hospital. The 58-year-old could never have imagined that one day she'd welcome her daughter and her two grandchildren as war refugees. Six weeks ago, the young mother and her sons left the city of Kolomaya while her husband was left behind to fight. The children were registered in a Greek school. We live in very difficult times. I can describe our lives in three words. Bombings, misery, refugees. Nobody expected this could happen in 2022. The Greeks embraced my children and I thank them so much. My children are quite happy and already have new friends. The teachers and pupils have welcomed them. Alexei and Konstantin are in third and fifth grade of primary school. The Greek language is their biggest challenge. All of a sudden, the boys can't understand what their teacher says. Yet technology offers a way out. With this application, we have Ukrainian and Greek. Apart from translation and spelling, the child can listen to how a word is pronounced. It is very useful. When it was announced Ukrainian children would join the school, the teachers decided to talk with students about the war and what it means to be a refugee. We talked to our children about the war between Ukraine and Russia, so they knew what was going on. The Greek children offered gifts to their new classmates, paintings and all their love. At first, the two brothers were a little shocked because they suddenly found themselves in the spotlight. They felt like little fish out of water. It's time for a break, followed by gymnastics, where words are no longer so important. Schools are asking the Ministry of Education to hire Ukrainian-speaking teachers for at least two classes a week. In the last two months, Greek schools have registered more than 450 children from Ukraine. Although they still do not speak the language, although they find it difficult to communicate, children feel that they have found a big embrace full of support and solidarity. Apostolos Taikos, Euronews, Athens.